Okay, this morning we're going to do a little work with a JD squared tubing bender. So I have mine set up so that it's portable because I don't have a great big shop to do all this uh, bending in. So I have this pedestal made that's uh, concreted in the ground. Uh, it's kind of like a trailer receiver. Drops in. I used a level, got this straight, got this level. So I can just pick it up, take it in and out whenever I want to. Now, one of the things that I don't do is I don't use the protractor because I'm taking mine on and off all the time. Protractor mounted on here, I just bend it up, have to take time, reset it each time. So what I have done, what I have done is I have come in here and numbered each notch. One, two, three, four, all the way up here to 11. So when I'm doing bends, rather than do degrees, I do everything by number. Sometimes you have to put a piece back in, tweak it a little bit, but uh, you can actually do that. Uh, it's not difficult. Um, and then all you have to do is record your numbers and you can make bend after bend after bend according to whatever number you're using. So. I'm going to grab a piece of tubing here and we'll uh, put a bend in a piece of tubing and I'll show you exactly what I mean. One inch tubing so we don't care if we ruin this. So <clears throat> Run this piece of tubing in. When you're using your bender, things that you'll learn is if you're bending a piece that you really want to keep, you're going to put a, a, a line all the way around your bend that will line up with this piece right here, this, ang this cut on that die. So when you slide that through there, that line would be lined up right here. Now, now that I've shown you that, let's take that, put it around here. You can actually see where my line was on this bend when I did this other bend. Uh, and what you'll find out is with each different size of tubing, uh, it will change according to how far away it is when it starts your bend. Uh, I don't remember what it is exactly on this one inch without going and look at my records, but I think the bend starts like one inch after the line. But you would put that on here, you take a three quarter inch wrench, tighten that up. You're just gonna come over here with your bender that's uh, going to start in, in notch number five. So you just you just start bending. It's not hard. Bends pretty easy. Let's say we want to duplicate that bend. If we want to duplicate that bend, you can see we were in notch number nine. So if we want to duplicate that bend, we know where that line is on there. You can come out and pull to number nine and duplicate that bend as many times as you want to. There's your bend. Do any bend you want. Now I'm going to show you a little trick here. That's one inch die. So what I want to do is bend some seven eighths, but I don't have a seven eighths die. And I didn't want to spend the money for a seven eighths die. Yeah, when you're talking one inch die, this is one. Inch. This is a one inch die. So I don't have a, one, a seven eighths die. So what I did is I took this piece of sheet metal. And it was flat. You gotta, you gotta do the first, first time it's gonna be flat. So, this is gonna sit in there like that. And after you take a piece of seven eighths, it'll form to that. So, 
so now I can take my 7 8 and put it in there and I can use my 1 inch die to do 7 8 without bending without kinking the 7 8 tubing now if you go to one of our go-kart videos you'll notice that we just got through building some uh, invader go-karts and those invader go-karts are inch and an eighth tubing and I don't have an inch and an eighth die I have an inch and a quarter die so I took and did the same thing for the inch and a quarter die and I bent all those carts on inch and an eighth tubing by using that spacer in there which is uh, 62 thousandths material which takes up a sixteenth of an inch on each side so I'm down to inch and an eighth so I can bend inch and an eighth tubing perfectly now that's one little trick okay I'm gonna show you another trick save you a lot of money why burn up your good tubing go to the store and buy you some cheap EMT Yep. EMT, because this, EM, EMT is conduit for yeah, anybody conduit. that doesn't, doesn't know. It's electrical conduit typically used yep. in building construction. So you can buy that for a little bit of nothing. Okay, this happens to be 7 8 It's a 3 quarter inch listing, but it actually measures, that's 3 quarter inside, so it measures to uh, 7 8 on the outside. So again, we come up here with our spacer. So now we can take and put this uh, three-quarter inch conduit through here, wherever we decide we want to bend, run my little spacer in there, and rather ruin good one-inch tubing or seven-eighths tubing, or in the case of those carts, make all my bends. Actually, I could take and weld that whole cart together. You wouldn't want to run it. But I did all that, that whole cart in EMT tubing before I ever did it in chrome molly tubing. So why waste, why waste that good expensive tubing when you got junk like this that you can bend up without any problem? You can burn through a whole bunch of this for the price of... You know, you, you go to the store and you pay 10 bucks for a piece of inch and an eighth EMT. By the time you get chrome molly shipped to you and got 15 16 17 dollars a foot. You have a whole ten burn through a whole ten foot piece of EMT, and uh, make all your mistakes on that. Record everything you want, get your bends perfect, and it'll be just fine little adjustments that you'll make when you go to the real stuff. So that's basically all I'm showing you today. So I'm just going to take this back in my shop. So there we go.